Hello, it's Jo again, take two. <laughs> I'm hoping now that um, um, Suzanne is going to be able to see that um, Avalon is live. Avalon is live now. Can you see it? I guess I make assumptions. I guess I make assumptions around this stuff and um, that's... Um, something you don't know until it becomes live <laughs> so i'm chatting with suzanne behind the scenes and hopefully now um, she can find me in order to jump on with me um, today is a cuppa chat so i've made my cuppa well actually ricky bought me the coffee <laughs> hey willow welcome back <laughs> um, it, it's like it's like you you're in the park but you can't see the person you're looking for, right? <laughs> well, we're in the park together um, and I'm hoping that my live flag, <laughs> I know, thank you. I'm hoping that my live flag will now be big enough for Suzanne to see um, and hopefully she'll be on soon. <laughs> so, oh dear, time differences and technology. <laughs> oh goodness me okay all righty uh well i don't yeah <laughs> i don't know what to do I, I truly don't know what to do until i can see that suzanne has found us and i can't make suzanne find us because i don't i can't kind of like join her without her being being around you know what i mean write a comment no oh Actually, this might work. I'm just going to write a, oh, see if I can tag her in it and then hopefully she can find it. Oh, maybe this will work. Maybe this will work. Hey, Kathy, you're back. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Oh, there you are. Yes. <laughs> I found you. I found you. Yes. Hey Suzanne! <laughs> okay, so Suzanne's adding. Showing on my phone. Oh gosh. Okay, go, hello! Hello! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh gosh. How are you? Are you okay? Yep. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm here. I made it. I made it. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So I was saying earlier that um, when we get a lot of rain here, because um, our phone line comes from Nord's Wharf and it runs underneath the lake, like on the lake bottom, and then it comes up into a dodgy pole. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A dodgy pole. True story. Uh, into it. Oh, you've made your cuppa. Excellent. Yep. And, into a pole and then it goes into some box that has seen way better days and then which we've discovered because the technicians have told us it fills up in when it's raining it fills up with water which is why we have really bad connections <laughs> so now that it's after four o'clock and oh my god i completely forgot about the time difference is then so I, I didn't even twig about there being half oh you didn't either okay <laughs> well i'll take half responsibility all right <laughs> It's all good. <laughs> we made oh, it. Good, good, good. Okay, I'll stop the nervous chatter then, shall I? <laughs> Can I just say, I wanted to start with, I'm just noticing on my cup, right? Can you see hey. my cup? And it says, Oh, oh you've some got your people, cup of, Oh, yeah. happiness. But I'm just showing you my yeah. cup and it says, some, some pursue happiness. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can so now, some yes. Some pursue happiness, yeah. And it says others create it, yeah. right? And that cup was given uh -huh. to me, uh -huh. right? But today I'm reflecting on how much happiness I'm creating today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're wiping makeup, aren't you? You're not crying, are you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, just tears of like, no, just yeah, whatever. And um, so, no, didn't create much happiness today. I was a grumpy cow today so i just thought i'd share that with oh, you. Ac actually i am too <laughs> i am too so and then and then 
And I'm going, but I've got to be fun, fit as a Suzanne. <laughs> hey, well, you said we were going to be real. So let's just be grumpy cows for a minute. That's okay. Uh, no, no. <laughs> but it's hard to be a grumpy cow with no. you because you make me laugh. <laughs> oh, good, good. Well, I'm happy about that. But look, we've got some people watching, so I'm really happy with this. Is, uh, so I'm glad you've come on. And I'm, yeah, Hi, anyway, everyone. so we're all good. So welcome. <laughs> So I was saying in the previous one, but I'll re-say this in this one because this is the, the official video now, is that um, yep. thanks so much because actually you gave me this idea to, to you know, have, have some of these fun, fun chats on video and um, that's why you get to be the first one. And mm -hmm. I thought, you know, I used to do these cuffa, cuffa courses in the shop that I had and um, they were great because they were really informal. You just had a cuppa and sat around and, chewed the fat about things that you know about a topic or whatever um yep. but I guess the topic for me here and it's very broad which means you know we can take in anything we like but I'm really interested in the way people create and the way people live and therefore create their living as in yeah. the way they live or how they make an income living or a hey Larissa or you know how they create and how they live so that's kind of like the broad topic of, of my cup of chats, but really we can take it wherever we want. Wherever we want. Wherever we, is, there a, yeah. is, is there a rating on this? <laughs> There's no swearing, I'm oh, assuming. Well, maybe we should rate. <laughs> well, you know, people know me. They know what I'm like. So, you know, <laughs> they watch at their peril. <laughs> They'll try and behave. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All righty. So, how are you going today? Well, yeah, like I said, I'm... I'm uh, I've just up and down. I've been up and down this week. Just um, that happens, I think, sometimes after these events that, that we do. Sometimes after these events, um, that we do. I'm hearing myself yep. echo with. Yeah. What was the event you just I'm did? Echo uh, oh, that's annoying. To, yeah. Uh, can you hear that? Is there an echo that you can hear? I can hear you. Yes. No. Okay. So that's all good. Okay. So that's all good. Perfect. Yeah. All right, so uh, I just did um, uh, Port Piri not long ago, um, and that was mm. interesting. Yeah, um, and yeah, yep. I've only I've, I've only new to these events, yeah, so I haven't done many. But um, yeah, I'm still kind of figuring out if that's what I really want to do. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I do love them. But um, and for. for just sorry, just really quickly for those who didn't see the first one that I did, Suzanne and I met in Mildura and the event that she's talking about for Port Piri is organised by the, by the women who organised the event in Mildura, which we really loved. I really enjoyed yeah. it. And yeah, yeah. Um, Suzanne and I were stall neighbours and we, we, we met, us, met each other and yes, it went from there. So that's why we're here now. <laughs> and it hasn't been so long. Port Piri. Yeah, it hasn't been long until I've no, much. The, the great thing about these events, um, like while I haven't made, I haven't made a great income from them as yet. Um, I have met mm. amazing people, and you've been one of those people. Mm. Um, and mm. uh, it was interesting, wasn't it? Our little moment that we had together when we were giggling about your dreams. That's right. We wanted to talk about that, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> that was yes. so funny. Uh, yeah. Yes. Well, when I discovered that you do dream um, interpretation, one of the many things that you do, I thought, oh, I'd had this mad dream the night before, but it was a bit perplexing. But I've been sort of looking at my dreams for many years. They've always been a fascination to me, but it's always nice to kind of share a little bit with somebody who does that um, for a thing, you know, for, for, as an interest or as, as a passion as well. And yeah. um, it's always good to have another opinion on, on what you think your, your dream is about. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't so much the topic of the dream that, that made you laugh. It was the way I described it. You, I mean, honestly, that's why I said anyway. to you, that's why I said to you, you need to be on video because like you are just a natural, you know, and you make people laugh. Like you're, just, you're hilarious, you know, and you just, I remember watching you on something you were sharing not long ago. That's right. Remember you were sharing about your, um, yeah. you just tidied up your little room. And you were, you'd gone away and you'd been camping at an oh. event and you'd just come back and you did, were setting up your tacks and you were talking 
Uh, that's right. And you were talking about your room and how it's all tidy. And then you, you zoomed in on the first bit you started and went, oh, not there. <laughs> and then you and then you showed everywhere else. And I just laughed. I, I just catched myself laughing. And I just thought, you are just a natural. Like, so you just, you just made me laugh. And I might have been having a day where I was feeling a little bit, you know, up and down. And you just, um, yeah. you know, you just made me laugh. And um, that's what I'm finding oh, with these connections. Cool. Even if we're not seeing each other, you know, um, in in the physical, in person, I've got another friend in Israel and we do the same thing. We just pick each other up, you know. We just make each other laugh. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Good. Good. Because laughing, what does laughing do? It raises vibration, doesn't it? Absolutely. And it relaxes yeah, muscles yeah. In, a, in a way or shifts muscles and shifts, shifts um shifts energy i mean i've been doing talks in various situations for a long time and um um and often in you know very serious kind of um settings i was union organizer for three nearly four years and um you know some of that stuff is pretty dry and also some of that stuff is you know you can get pretty um can get pretty kind of heated i suppose as well and i used to get so nervous and a bit like i am when I first started just now too, I get really nervous and my mind goes blank. And when my mind goes blank, that's really deadly because nothing's coming out at all. <laughs> I know what you mean. I totally get it. I, to- I, I was a bit panicking too. Totally I'm, thinking, I'm thinking, oh, my God, what am I going to talk about? You know, then I looked at my cup and I went, oh, that's a good start. <laughs> my cup, that is a good starting point. <laughs> and so I found that if I said something silly, they laughed yeah. and then I, I, it, it felt like it took the pressure off. Like yes, they weren't absolutely. staring at me, waiting yes. for something really brilliant to come out because they'd be waiting a long time. But then something did come out and it was enough oh, to get going. And once, so hard once, on we, once we got going, I know, no, I'm not being hard on myself. It's kind of, it's part of the funny thing, you know, eventually, yes, you know, yes. there's some pearls of wisdom in there, but more, it was more about getting in important information across, not, not wisdom, <laughs> just information. Um, but yeah, so once you start and then it starts to roll and then people get engaged, don't they? They get yeah. engaged with you and then they ask questions and then you find out what it is that you re- they really want to know. Yep. And when you've worked out what it is they really want to know, that's easy. You can talk to that. Easy. Because you, yep. you know what's going to hold their interest. I don't want to yeah. read from a piece of paper anymore. I just want to yeah. start and see what people want to know and then let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah. So what do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, uh, well um, you talked about releasing, en- you know, changing energy with, these, with laughter. And I, 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 um, yes. I think the first, because when I was working with you, I realised that I was actually helping you to release energy. Um, remember, we were, mm. you were quite emotional. You were at the, at, and I just want to say um, lots of people, I make lots of people cry. All right. So you're not. Good. <laughs> Yep, <laughs> and um, and it's it's and it's uh, you know it's not that I smell or anything. It's just that, I, you know, they're not quite crying from the, the you know the, the fact that I the know, onion know odors. Because, yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, I should no. check that. But um, no. but it, yeah. it's sort of like I can feel the depth of their emotion. I can feel something is wanting to be released. And um, mm-hmm. and a few times in my life it's happened. Well, yeah, a few times it's happened with through laughter. So I can feel it. I can feel mm-hmm. the energy coming up out of me, and it's kind of helping you to release as well. I guess, from what I can gather. So, and it's happened in yeah. a way like with your dream and the emotion you had around it. There, we released that when we were laughing. Um, and I think I told you about that yep. situation I had with um, the fact that when I was doing that in a group, we were laughing so much that I, I was laughing so much that I was actually rolling on the ground, snorting, yeah. right? And I was working with a group. Did I tell you <laughs> yeah. about that story? Yeah. And yeah, that, that yeah, keep going. I, was, yep. I was releasing some fairly major energy that night. Um, we did some fairly, mm-hmm. fairly phenomenal stuff together as a group. And I, that's when I first really realised the what I kind of did with people um, around energy. Yeah. And that was probably about four years ago. And I um, was told, like, that that young girl transformed in front of our eyes and uh, and I did a pastel drawing with her, which was a bit of a release that she did as well. And then, yeah, then I started to do some body work with her, some movement and 
uh, some sound work, and then I uh, did. Yep. This, and then I started to giggle, you know, <laughs> like, and I'd never done that before, you know. And I was honestly, I was giggling so yep. much because I was clueless this night. All this stuff was happening. I was channeling stuff, and I, and you know, it wasn't like I was. Uh, it was. It, it was because I'm in my head. I used to be in my head a lot. So I knew that what what I yep. found was this this new energy that I was helping people with was diverting from that was, uh, uh, was diverting from my brain. It was coming through my heart, you know. Right. So, um, so I knew yep. that it was yep. an energy that was, and it was a joyful. It was a joyful scenario. Okay. So, um, and so we were we were working together, having some fun, doing a whole heap of stuff, and yeah, then then this energy was being yep. released. Um, and yeah, like I was rolling around on the ground, snorting with laughter. And that lady said that was the time when she actually went insane, and she never thought she'd actually be be able to return to that that moment in time, and that I was able to take her there in safety and in um, in yep. a way that she felt held. And it really, everybody in the group looked at her, and we all looked at her and went, "Oh my God, she's a different person." So wow. we helped her with, and it wasn't, I'm not taking all the credit, it was the group, the, the energy of the group, you know, that was raising the vibration, yeah. but it was just something that I was, it was a shamanic thing that I was doing, and, and um, it was sort of the beginning of realising uh, some new stuff that I was doing, you know. Yeah. yeah. And it's, Do you have a name for it, just so that you can kind of... Do, That was the end of that question. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I interrupted your flow. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's all good. No, I don't have a name. For it. Well, it's just releasing a shamanic no. journey. It's journeying with the person right. in, um, in a shamanic yep. way, you know. And Right. Yep. Yeah, and I sort of do that when I work yeah. with someone, I suppose. Um, in, but in everything's different. Everyone's different that I work with. I work differently with everyone. But generally, it's it's yeah. a shamanic sort of thing that I do, and it's um, it's a, a very strong emotions that I can help to people to look at or release, or you know, often they're they're sitting at the surface, you know. Do you find that you're releasing for them or with Sometimes. them, or you're like a catalyst for that releasing? Uh, it's all of the above. Yeah. And the reception the reception's really bad, so you, your voicing is cutting in and out. So if I look a bit vague, it's because I'm waiting to hear it. So don't take it personally. Okay. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, no, it's all of those things um, at times. It depends right. on the person. So uh, the person yeah. might want to have release it themselves, and that's important to them, and I, I'm just holding the space. Sometimes it's just sitting mm -hmm. there and the person can't release it um, and, and I find mm -hmm. that I start to burp or laugh or, I, well, I don't laugh at them. It's not something that happens no. just out of the blue. I don't just sit there and start to go, oh, no. <laughs> you know, like a mad person or anything, you know, but, uh, uh, yeah. but I, it, if they start to giggle, then we start to giggle and, and, and then we, it sort of, that helps it too. Um, Builds it, yeah. Yeah, sometimes uh, it's movement. Um, sometimes I work with their voice, so we do voice resonance, and that helps to release a lot of stuff uh, from them. Um, that's quite transformative. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's lots of different ways that I seem to do it, and I'm still learning what it is that I do. I don't. I, I do yeah. find it hard to kind of pin it down, you know, because it's kind of ever evolving and growing. So, um, but yeah, mainly I would yeah. say it's through colour, sound, yeah. movement, frequency, yeah. sound, vibration. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Wow. Colour, movement. It's all vibration, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. all vibration, really, isn't it? Colour yeah. is a is a physical representation, and sound is a sound representation, and movement is the body of vibration, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're right, Dominique. Um, shamanic healer here myself, she says. It's a beautiful way of working and healing. Yes. Hi, Dominique. So, I'm, I haven't so, got all um, the, I haven't got all the, I haven't got all the um, questions up here because then I can't see your beautiful face. So, 
um, oh. so I'm not seeing the comments. Well, it's cutting off my chin. You're... <laughs> That's all right. Well, you're up in the top right-hand corner for me, so I can see you <laughs> as well. Well, I can, I can well, see there's cool. a person I know on here, and her, her name Sorry? Is, uh, I can see there's a person I know on here, and that's Kayleen. Um, Kayleen, I actually don't know how to say your surname, Kayleen. Sheget, Shegetman. Um, it says that she's watching, so okay. I'll say hi to her. Um, otherwise, I don't know any of the other names. So good. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Oh, good. Well, welcome everyone, really. Yeah, welcome, <laughs> welcome everyone, and um, we're really happy that um, that you're tuning in to have a, a listen. I hope you brought your cuppers. I've got mine. Show us your cups, Suzanne. Okay, <laughs> What's in yours? Go. What have you got in yours? I've got um, dandelion tea. With almond milk oh, okay. and zymal milk. I've got a mixture of stuff that I like. It tastes like coffee to me, but it's not. Because I, I don't oh, drink good. coffee or tea because well, got... it doesn't agree with me. So, yeah. yeah. So oh, it's good. So now. dandelion tea. <laughs> Mine's cold as well. That's all I was going to say. Mine's cold coffee. <laughs> but it tastes a bit like it tastes a bit like hot, like um, iced coffee when it's cold. So I don't mind. Oh, well, that's okay, too. That's all right, too. just needs cream in it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not if you've got the Zimmel in that. Yeah. yeah. So, so you can have Zymel, um, Zymel cream as well. Can you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'll have to investigate that. Um, I'm interested more in, in about your um, soul language. Soul uh, language? Yep. Yeah. Have I got that right? Yep. Yeah? Oh, some people call it light language. Some people call it universal language that's what i thought you were um, first talking about it but you were saying yeah. so yeah yeah and so for me it's kind of universal it started off uh, once again probably about four years ago when i was in this group i did a um, course for transpersonal counseling in adelaide and um, mm -hmm. and there was a few people that started to speak light language there i found that when i was with the group i was really activated and i had lots of coding coming in and yep. lots of activations and downloads and just because the group energy was so like high you know um i learned so yeah. much um but you know it was like a really intensive four days and then you'd come home and just be shattered you know like you just so much to process and you know just yeah like it was amazing a few people People, there was probably about six of us, I think, from memory that started to speak it. Um, and I started to sing it in the group. We did some group stuff and I started to draw. Arcturians came about that time as well. I don't know if you've heard of the Arcturians. Um, they started to, I started to do automatic, well, I was doing automatic writing for years. Um, and it was more of an angelic writing that I used to do. Um, but one day this uh, name came Arcturian and I'm like, I didn't know what the hell that mm -hmm. was. I'd never heard of it before. And I looked into it a bit and I started to get um, automatic writing, like connecting to them for a while. So I did some drawings of them and um, I do energy drawings as well, um, which I think you've seen. Um, so I, I shared these with the group and they tend, they seemed to activate the group. So um, and so then it yeah it kind of went from there, and I'm finding now with these events I'm doing uh, soul language activations. I've been doing a bit. Activations. Um, I guess. And what do you people. what do you think they embody? Yeah. Well, it, it seems Excuse to be me. that everybody has. Uh, I, I don't know if everybody has, but it seems like most people. Oh, a lot of people have got a their own unique soul language, their own unique soul language, their own unique essence, you know, and soul. And and so then I when I when I sing to them, um, I do kind of like a honouring or a balancing, and that's kind of seems to be different for everybody. Or uh, and it seems that I'm doing like maybe three or four languages at once at times. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, and so they, so, um, and so they it's, 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 uh, it's I just, I'm still learning about it, uh, I'm but I get this really it. strong sense that, that comes into my heart, and then I, I share that. 
uh, the information. Uh-huh. So they it's like their soul knows. I look into their eyes and they, yeah. I see the love that they are, and then uh, yep. I see them as whole. I, I see them as love, and yeah, um, and then I, then this language comes, and then I've, often they get emotional. Um, often we have a connection that's really deep, you know, and. And then, yes, yeah, and we do a sound resonance. So we both we do um, sing so both, uh, like an om sing. sound together and like it an resonates. Together. Yep. And that often, oh, brings wow. up, that often brings up energy and up opens up their solar plexus. Um, I seem to be working a lot with the solar plexus, with the heart and with the throat. It seems to be the main areas that yep. people are really working with at the moment. Um, because yep. we're all kind of figuring out what we, who we are, why we're here, you know, what the hell we're doing, all that stuff. And a lot of people mm-hmm. Are, mm-hmm. are finding a lot of people are, are afraid of, of using their voice um, and stepping out, mm. you know. Um, and I've yep. actually found that I've been uh, working with some fairy, lang- fairy language as well has started to come through. Pardon me, which I didn't even know was a thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what makes you say, what makes you call it fairy language? Uh, you get a sense of it. So even though I don't know exactly what's being okay. said, you get a, the language um, sounds like, a, I was speaking to someone last night and it was sort of like Cantonese or something that was coming through, but sort of like that, Asian sort of language. And then sometimes it's sort of an Aztec sort of sound. Um, sometimes it's yep. angelic, but the fairy language is real quick, like you know, just really, really quick and um, oh wow, yeah, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see. I don't know. I'll see if I can. But it's, it's much more fun when you're doing it and someone's talking to you in that language too. Yeah, talking. So you start oh, to wow. bounce off each other yeah. and you are this, you know, it's. Are you there? I think you froze for a minute. Oh, my reception's so bad. Um, <laughs> are you there? Can you hear me still? No, you're waiting for a response and I didn't hear what you <laughs> oh good honey oh good <laughs> excuse me um oh i could hear what you were saying but i couldn't i could hear how you were saying it but i couldn't hear the actual words that you were saying when once you came back to english <laughs> oh. <laughs> just that last bit if you could just repeat the last bit uh, I'm, I'm hoping it recorded all right but yeah I didn't get it uh, okay so <sighs> I think I was saying that um, it's much it's even more fun when the other person's speaking that language to and answering you um, oh wow yeah yeah so then because and are they as surprised about that as you are yeah yeah, pretty much most of the time. Yeah. Quite yeah. often. So if I'm activating, yeah, wow. and it, don't, I'm not an expert in this. Like this is only just starting no, to happen as in we're just chatting. people. Yeah. Um, so I'm just yeah. saying, like yeah. you know, um, I'm learning what it is. Uh, but you know, yeah. often. So the new new stuff that's happening with the voice, the, the language activations, is always a surprise for the people as well. Like if I. I know that I have to share something and often it's with a lot of people that are quite um, scattered, right? They're almost like yep. they're not in their body. And then I start to speak this language okay. and I'll speak it to you in a minute so you get a sense of it. Um, you've heard it before. Okay. Um, yes. But yep, it bits, seems, yep. it, what it seems to do is it seems to be like a, sometimes it's like a very grandmotherly nurturing kind of a language that I'm speaking. And yeah. it seems to bring them into their body. I can see their eyes change and they're right in, mm. they're right all there, you know. But when they first sit in the right. chair, in the throne, when they sit in the throne, because yes. you know, I've got the throne. Yes. Um, when they first I sit do. in the throne, uh, <laughs> they, 
they kind of, they're like, oh, you know, they're not really there. They're kind of nervous and they're all kind of jittery. And but as soon as I speak the language yeah. to them, they get just, they're all there. And they, it's quite fascinating actually to watch, you know. So um, I've seen wow. it with some people with ADHD. They've, they've said they've got really bad, mm. you know, what well, they call it ADHD. And, um, um, you know, adults. And, um, and then, you know, seeing them come in like that, it's just, whoa, it's fascinating. You know, so. It sounds like a really um, powerful focusing tool, like a, a way of focusing. But I suppose it's I focusing think, into the body, isn't it? I think so, because I, when I speak I it, so I, I feel I it in my body, like in my heart and in my solar plexus. Um, yeah. Often when I speak it to people, they say they feel it uh, tingling or they feel heat or they feel, feel hot spots, um, like energy, you know. Um, sometimes they see things. Um, one lady saw a snake skin, like, like, like she just peeled her skin away, like a snake skin. So it was like a transformative experience. Can I just stop you for a second there? Sorry, Suzanne. Sorry. Um, it's echoing kind of strangely here, and I just want to check with anyone who's watching whether it's still doing that echoing as well. It's, it's kind of not echoing. It's like it's, it's bouncing. Well, I suppose that's echoing, isn't it? <laughs> um, if someone can just give me a yes or a no, whether it's, it's coming through clearly or whether it's, it's echoing, please. Um, uh, it's so just that I'm finding it really hard to hear what Marita's you're saying, saying Suzanne. Yeah, Marita's can you? Hi, Marita. She's saying it's an echo from my side. Um, I can't hear it's an on echo. It's your side, is it? I can't hear an echo now. Is it still there? Oh, no, I can still hear it. It, it is. It's like it's a... It's like a delay, actually. It's not an echo. It's like a delay. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I've only just noticed it recently. I can, I can take this out and uh, just speak okay. to the phone directly. Is that better? All right. If you want to try it and see how it goes, yeah. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Not as clear as before, but just, do, just have a little, just talk a short thing just so, to try it. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my name's Suzanne. <laughs> um, okay, so is that better? Because it's not echoing here in my... No, it's doing it still. Damn. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, because I wasn't Maybe. doing it at first. Like, you know, I know you mentioned it. Okay, we're getting some thumbs up. So, um, yeah, go on. So it's better? Still yeah, echo. it's still all right. We'll just carry. Yeah, it's still doing it for me. Um, I can't really tell. Um, maybe whether that is it coming through as maybe a. Pr maybe, maybe, but because I know you flagged it when you first looked at it. I'll just see if I can. Because it was doing it with someone else that I spoke uh, with the other what night too. Oh, uh, was it? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Um, oh, actually, now might be able to go into this one. No, it doesn't matter. It's. I was just looking at the laptop. I've got it here to try and look at things I can't look at on the phone. Anyway, oh, I'm really sorry to interrupt your flow like that. Um, it's all good. It's just, so it's just getting harder and harder to hear it. Um, where do you want to go from here? <laughs> Uh, I, I can do. Uh, yeah. I can. See, uh, I'm now getting notices that the connection's really bad. What time is it? It's nearly five. Yeah, it's five. Okay. Um, I can't hear you now. Yeah. Oh no. Um. Is that you waiting, Suzanne, or is that um? Have you I gone through? <laughs> That's sounding good. Must be my reception because I've been pushed on and off. Okay, start, keep going and um, we'll go from here. What do you reckon? <laughs> oh, dear. I've lost Suzanne. <laughs> 
bring Suzanne on. We'll see if I can bring you back. <laughs> I think it's just because of the rain and it just really interrupts the service here and um, just makes any work long time. In fact, I, it's, my screen says that I've got five people here, but I really can't tell whether that was five or whether that still is five. <laughs> Um, certainly I'm still going and I'm just waiting to bring on Suzanne again um, and I can't see how that's happening oh dearie me adding I think my receptions hey Nikki I think my receptions a bit foobard <laughs> uh, I didn't say it <laughs> Oh, Suzanne's not coming back. Well, I'm adding her, but she's not She's not coming in. Oops. Bring Suzanne on. I'll try it again. Anyway, isn't it interesting listening about the um, the sound activation or the, yeah, the sound activation and how Hi. sound can activate energy in the body? Hello. I'm I back. thought I'd ramble on in your absence. Are you back? Yeah. Now it's me. Are you here? Yep. You're a bit frozen. Hello. <laughs> Which lake am I on? <laughs> That's a really good what lake that Macquarie, mean? Michael. I'm on Lake Macquarie. And you're back? Ah. Still echo. Uh, look, even the messages are coming through a bit late as well. Deary me, we're getting quite a delay. Um, I don't want to go. I'm having fun. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll start to sing and see if it changes. Would you like me to sing a little bit? Hey. I'll do a little bit of sound. Yeah, Would you like it's that? still echoing. And it's very slow. Damn it. Well, so, look, I... Yeah, go on. What were you thinking? Um, well, I'm very slowly thinking <laughs> like my reception is. <laughs> if we keep dropping out, then um, I think we need to finish it. But if the connection's okay and you're laughing in time, so maybe it is okay. <laughs> is it back again? Are you okay? Well, if you like, I can, I can do, I can sort of sing a little bit of Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. I, actually, what I'm going to do is go onto my data because it might be that the Wi-Fi is slowing down. So I'll just wait for that to kick in on my phone yep. and see if that will help. Um, okay. I think I'm all right. Are you okay? Hi, Nicole. Our reception is always bad. Yes, you're over the other side. <laughs> We've been told we can't go. Nicole just got here, okay? <laughs> okay. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Cool. All righty. Well, it, I, I might have resolved some of my end, um, so hopefully we can keep going. What do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. We're sounding good. All right. So were you kind of thinking you might do some, some, some soul language? Well, that's if people are comfortable with that. Um, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So if you're comfortable with it, um, I'm comfortable with it. It's up to you because you're the one doing it. So I'm comfortable with it because <laughs> it's, it's a new thing for me as well. But if it's, uh, yeah, you'd be welcome. <laughs> so I've done this with Marita. I think Marita's watching. I've done this where I can connect in with you, for example. So, for so say this is, I'm doing this for you, which, um, <laughs> So I'll I'll speak to you um, and yep. see how you feel about it, okay? And then you can kind of talk about your experience of it maybe. I don't know. Okay. Do you want to try that? Yeah. You're talking to me or to your friend? No, to you. No, to you. Oh, me, me. Yes, I'm in. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Hang on, I'll better sit up. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Tahia to na hiti na iti 
That just a little bit of singing. Mm. Did you feel that? I did. I did actually. I get um, I get um, like a run that goes up my back and just makes the whole body um, shiver. Isn't a strong enough word, but that kind of does that. I, that to me is um, my indicator of a connection or truth. And um, yeah. God, I could just, I just felt um, elvish. I just felt like I, yeah, thank you, Willow. It was beautiful, wasn't it? Um, it? It just felt like there were elves everywhere and I kind of, you know, I'm a Lord of the Rings girl. So, you know, Lord of the Ring uh, elves. <laughs> it really wow. did. I just felt really tall and and slim and tall and blonde and do you know what I mean? Like that tall, that, that yeah. image of the, of, of the elves in, in Lord of the Rings. That's my kind of go-to oh, for elves. Cool. Yeah, yeah. But well, and that it's different kind of, for everybody, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Because, but I have been getting a lot of people saying that it feels. Uh, I'm getting a lot of energy of people that have been sitting with me. I've felt a lot of forest en energy with them. So you know, um, wow. nature spirit energy, and you know, all of those things. I've been more and more yeah. of those people are starting to come out, and and th yeah. their energy is being seen. You know, they're being seen. So I'm seeing them, and then I I must connect with them on a soul level. And so yeah. what I do is then I I'm showing them who who they are, or, or an element, or an aspect, or element them that they need to connect with or be aware of yeah you want to play a little bit more oh it's not play i shouldn't say play a little bit more but i've got some more sitting here if you like if you've got more sitting here i'd love to receive thank you i thought come hi sahatiya they talk on has a tetoko, she did to my let, it's all my car. Leto Cosati came on at the sale, the caos is the sheer to comment her. Let it come at the cancel me so let us all may ta. Who is it to get a mahaleta? Oh, a kitty as a no coshe. Oh, dear, the Kamahan lamb. Why is a no coal? <laughs> so it's like a real fun energy, a real, real yeah. um, uh, nature spirit, you know. Like yeah, um, uh, yeah. It's almost it's like the almost elementals, like, the like it's not, not quite fairy like. No, more solid than that, but yeah, more, more, yeah. more yeah. substantial. Not yeah, but uh, that yeah. that was. But there's like, a lot of. Um, Go on. No, it's your experience. No, it's your experience. So, yeah. Oh. No, I was just feeling it was like <laughs> this lady telling me, like, you know, you've got it in you. You're meant to be doing something <laughs> with it by now. <laughs> <laughs> I get it all the time. I've got that going on for me. Like, uh, yeah, because yeah, I, yeah. I speak like this to myself, right? So this comes for me as well, right? And I yeah. know it's like, it, yeah, it's sort of like your own, um, uh, um, your own kind of, oh, I can't even think of the words, your own sort of team, you know, like to, yeah. come on team, go team, yeah. sort of, you know. Like, cheers yeah. squad. <laughs> Yeah, that's the that's what I was thinking. I try, couldn't find the words. Yeah, your own cheer squad. Like it's, it is. It's yeah. like that, yeah. reminding you who you are, reminding you that this is this is who you are. This is an element yeah. of you. Yeah, 
you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got little tears coming out, you know, little tears coming out and I go, I know. <laughs> I'm just a little scared. <laughs> and then and then as I'm thinking that she starts laughing about something she's I don't know what she's laughing at, you know, and that's when you did the little you you were laughing as you were talking. It was like you're telling a funny yes. story about about yeah. the, the person who didn't do what they were meant to be doing, I don't know. So, it was like <laughs> well, it was, so the energy, like, the energy that I got, the, se en the sense that I got was that uh, trying to say that you're, this is fun. Like it's not yeah. meant to, be, it's meant to be joyful. You know, yeah. this is a, yeah. this is a fun, joyful experience that we're having not to be afraid. Right. Mm. So I, I must've sensed your, I don't know. I didn't see your tears, but I must've sensed them, but it's like, um, so because I, I don't get, I get a sense of everything that's being said, but I don't know all the words. And I know that if I did know all the words, my brain would just fry. Like I, like I'm not, I'm not meant to because I would go into fear probably or anxiety or, Oh my God, what am I saying? Or all of that. And I know that that's part of my brain would get in the way. So what it does, it's the language of the heart. Mm. It's, it's, it's very much a heart. Did you feel that? For me, I feel mm. it in my heart when I'm saying mm. it, you know, it comes right. from my heart. Yeah. And I think that's kind of like, uh, for me, it's sort of a very, what the future holds for us is it's all about love and, mm. um, and, and it's, and joy and happiness and gratitude and, and don't mm. get me wrong. I'm not in those places all the time. Not to, like today I was Miss Grumpy Pants, you know, um, <laughs> And, you know, just ask my husband because some, some people will say to me, oh, Suzanne, you're so loving. And Shane will look at them and go, yeah, right, not all the time, you know. <laughs> I know. <And> <laughs> yeah. You know, but I find that I'm wonderful with everybody else. But when I'm home with my, my uh, loved ones here, like, you know, I love everybody, but at home I'm sort of, if I'm frustrated with myself, then they cop it. You know, mm, so mm. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. normally project onto anyone else anymore. It's only them. Mm. They're the lucky ones that cop it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they're the lucky ones that get us special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I'm happy to um to answer any questions or you know, um, yeah, anything like that. Or if anyone else has got any any experiences or um anything like that you know because it's all new to me um just the same as my language i've got connie on the line here too i've been noticing that connie's here with us connie's yes. been wonderful friend um uh, connie hopper oh was She's connie beautiful. was that you, thought... connie were you at miracles in um in mildura as well yes she was oh, yeah. yeah she's beautiful oh, the, the turmeric pe pe yeah i was gonna say pepper but that's turmeric yeah yeah i remember hello <laughs> Yeah, so she's beautiful and she's just such yeah, a wonderful cool. support too. She's a lovely yeah. lady. Hi, Connie. Uh, yeah. That really is supportive. Same as Marita. Um, Marita's from Israel and she is just fabulous. She's the lady that um, has, is planting the rose energy all around the world and uh, oh. she's phenomenally um, beautiful and powerful but funny as as well, like you. Cool. And, um, uh, yeah, and so it's just so amazing. These chats, uh, I met Marita through a interview that I did on Soulogy One Network, which is something it would be good for you to write down for your listeners. If mm -hmm. anyone's looking for a place where they feel connected and uh, like-minded people, a bunch of other crazy people, you know, that are <laughs> sharing their experiences of crazy? their awakening. <laughs> no, no, not, not at all. No. Cool. <laughs> So on Soulogy One Network, the, the studios, it's, so it's called S-O-U-L-O-G-Y, mm -hmm. Soulogy One Studios. Okay. If you go onto that, that page on Facebook, um, there's, uh, it's run by um, Todd Medina uh, and his wife, Morgan Lee. And Morgan, I actually went to school with in this course that I was talking to you about. So that's how we met. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was doing an interview on their page. It was my first live interview that I'd had and with them. And um, they've got a fairly large following and I was yep. quite nervous. And I mm. met Marita from that interview. Ah, and Marita and I have cool. connected ever since. And we we just have such a really strong connection. It's been fabulous, you know. So 
so yeah, with these events and with these phone chats, you know, you do get to meet other people that are, I guess, I think what you're doing, we're all kind of learning to connect with our soul family. Mm. You know, do you mm. think, do you find that when you go to these events as well? Yep. 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 And you know, that, that it might just be one or two people that might be new or it's reconnecting with a couple from each event each time we go to them for sure. It's not everybody. Yeah. It's not all because not everybody connects with everybody. Um, but yeah, definitely. And and the ones where you know you you connect the best are the ones you make the biggest effort to get to. Truly. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you and I connected, and um, uh, Fran and we went oh. out to dinner that night, and we had a great yeah. time and a great gig. You know, and I oh, I went yeah. to uh, I was with Fran. I stayed with Fran and another lady. Um, at this last Port Piri event. Yep. And um, she's a love she's a lovely lady. And so yeah, it's it's opening my it's open I guess it's opening my world and opening my experiences and um but you know sometimes you think you sort of think I want to have um qu uh, quality mm. not quantity. Quantity. And yep. so that's yeah so that's what I'm kind of like I want to still con keep connected to these beautiful people I'm meeting yeah and it gets harder the more people you meet and the more people you connect with you know and true, um true so yeah I'm sitting with that at the moment thinking well what do I want out of this you know I want to be able to help people I yeah. want to connect with people um but you know I'm just you talk about how am I how am I creating my life and my work mm. Mm. basically I I really I follow my guidance my inner guidance so if I get this urge to make this phone call or um, send this email or do this thing or go here or you know turn the car this way or whatever it is I <coughs> I try and make sure I listen yeah and often it's um, it's often it sort of shows I'm shown you know like for example I've, I've had some body issues. I've been um, doing uh, painting murals and I'm, I've mm. done my shoulder because I've been yeah. using my right arm for, for two murals now and it's oh. my, my arm is really sore. So yep. I finally um, decided I better go and do some massage, get, get a massage. And I normally can't get into this lady very straight away, but Mary, Mary Sirius is her name. I'll give her a plug on here as well. She's fabulous. <laughs> uh, she's here locally. And, uh, and she, <laughs> why not? You know, I'll and uh, she, <laughs> and she, uh, she, she gets my weirdness as well, so I can be as weird as I need to be when I, because when I Correct. do a massage, I sing as well, right? Because I'm <laughs> actually working on myself. Yeah. Right? So yeah. whoever works on me, it's like my team, yeah. my my light fam, I call it my loving light family. They yeah. work as well with me. So I'm, I'm singing as well as, as releasing, as toning when I'm being worked on. So, wow. it, so um, anyway, so she gets all that and she's fine. Um, mm -hmm. But I happened, to, I, I just got the urge to ring her and she, I happened to be able to get in straight away that day, which never happens. Wow. Right. Wow. And then I got another, I got another thought to ring my chiropractor, which I don't go to very often. But I, knew, I just thought, oh, but I'll just ring. And sure enough, I could see him the next day. Now, it normally takes me about a month to get in. Yeah, right. So it's little things like that. I'm just following my guidance and it's yeah. showing me, okay, um, to listen. And act, it's not only just to listen, but act on those prompts. You yeah. know? And often, yeah. do you find that? You know, to, if you yes. act on them straight away, you get a real... Yes sense of okay yep it makes you want to listen more doesn't it you know yep. so yep um but I don't always do that but yep I know what you're talking about <laughs> yep you understand yep <laughs> yep why are you giggling have you been acting <laughs> not acting on prompts or <laughs> yeah that's what I just said but you might have missed that I was just saying I don't act on them all the time so when I do yes I know what you're talking about but I, here I am yeah. going, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. But I don't do it all the time. <laughs> so I'm, being, I'm being real. I don't, Remember, it's a real good I don't do it all the time. No, I'm being, <laughs> no. 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 I, I, I don't do it all the time. But, yeah. Yeah. 
like, but I'm trying to do it more. Like I'm trying mm. to be more um, aware of it and more going, okay, all right, I'm doing that. You know, because yeah. there have been times where I might have got a a, mess, a thought to make this phone call for like a week, and then mm. and I keep getting it, I keep getting it, I keep getting it, you know, and then all of a sudden, oh, fine, I'll make this freaking phone call, and it's <laughs> it's lined up. Uh, there's a job lined up, you know, like yeah. there's a, a mural yeah. lined up, or there, there's something yeah. that lines up for me, you know. Um, but I have to act on it while it's really strong, you know, and um, so. Yeah, so I'm just giving examples of how I'm creating my life, you know, and, mm. Uh, mm. and basically I'm not doing, I, I was doing cleaning work or any work that I could to sort of try and, you know, make ends meet. But I mm. found that it was really hard on my body and uh, I'm trying to really nurture my body more, listen to my body more, not all the time, but I'm trying to do it more than I used to. Mm. Um, yep. And um, And so I'm doing mainly what I'm focusing on is doing what I love. So everybody in my life is in their, my life for a reason because mm -hmm. I, that, it's a win, you know, win, win. Like it's a, we, we nurture each other or, or in, enjoy yep. each other's company or so I'm really selective about who's in my life. And mm -hmm. um, I'm also selective about the work I do now. And, yep. and also the people I deal with any, in any way, whether it's through, the shop I go into to get my groceries or to get my health products or whatever. If I don't yeah, connect wow. with those people, I was like, you know, so I'm, I'm just kind of, and I didn't realize this, but I, I, when I reflect on it, I suppose, um, yeah, um, I'm just selective about who's in my world, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. and it's not about trying to kind of, I don't think about vibration or anything like that. I just, I just work on how does it feel? Right. You know? Yeah. 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 How do they feel? I mean, it's funny because I was um, in my last event at Port Pirie when people, my table was one of the first tables they'd come to and, I'd, oh. and they'd be looking around, you know, and I'd say to them, oh, did you just get here? And they'd say, yeah, yeah. And I'd say, I'll just go around and have a feel of everyone. <laughs> and then see. It seems like a perfectly like, normal <laughs> thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not like, and then I, I heard myself and I'm like, you know what I mean, you know, like I realise that. I mean, that's yeah. right, you know? But just get a feel for everybody and then, you know, if you feel like this is what you're looking for, great, I'll see you around um, soon. If not, that's fine, you know. But I think it's important to, it's it's really how does someone feel and how do they feel when you're speaking to them? Do they uplift yeah. you? Yeah. You know, do they feel good? Yeah. Do, you, do you enjoy the interaction, you know? Um, yeah. Do you get value from that on some level, I think, you know? Um, if I go into a restaurant, my husband and I, we go in and we we just have a, a, an amazing time because we are looking for the great things that they're doing, you know? We're looking for all the little all the little one percenters, you know? Like, yeah. oh, wow, look how, look how well they're they do that or look how wonderful this is or wow look how lovely the lighting is or the decor or how does it how yeah. nice does it feel you know so yeah. we're kind of focusing yeah, cool. on that yep uh, and so you I, can't, I think you, that you, when you're focusing on the good things like that you can't have a bad experience yeah. really can you no no and so that's pretty much what i try and do it's it's not easy to do it all the time sometimes i get i'm at home and i get frustrated cuz you know uh, something might not be how I want it to be or whatever. And, um, but I, I'm trying to make the best of where I am, what I've got, who I am, who yeah. I'm with, you know, um, yeah. what I do. And, um, and yeah, that's not always, always going to be perfect and it's not always going to flow, but on the whole, um, I can say that my life is, I'm very grateful for the people in my life for, you know, what I'm doing in my life, um, you know, I'm quite excited that I get to paint murals for, you know, yeah. for work. Yeah, um, and I've seen some of the pictures that you put up after the, the recent one that you've done, um, which looked oh, really yeah. big. So there was 10 photos of it just um, in different sections yeah, to get the about, car, but it's so bright. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's about 20 metres because it's all in schools. So it's yeah. Uh, it's, uh, um, and then the one I'm working on at the moment is about 20 metres as well. 
um, that's got a Mary McKillop in it. So oh. uh, life size Mary McKillop. So no pressure or anything. The school is None. a Catholic school. No, it's a Catholic school and they're wanting me to do a Mary McKillop mural. So it's like, okay. So um, I did a course on the weekend because um, I'm not, I don't do a lot of painting of faces and things like that. And I'm, you know, I've been not happy with what I'm doing with her face. And, and I, I was really kind of keen to look at this course. And uh, her name is Lee Tresner in Gawler. She does a beautiful mm -hmm. job of diva. She does diva workshops. Mm -hmm. And that was great fun. So I learned some new skills and learned what I do, how much I don't know about art still after 35 years of creating art. I still don't know lots of things. Um, <laughs> wow. And, uh, yeah. And um, it was a fantastic experience. But there's a lady here locally um, that I'd like to connect with to do some more art too um, as well. So, um, so yeah, I, I think I'm just trying to, continue to learn and grow and mm. you know I suppose keep... that because I can just keep thinking that's that's kind of like a, a going with the flow isn't it you know following this this urge following this this thought um yeah. making this call turning here being grateful for that it's kind of like keeping that that energy flow going so that you yeah. can keep keep moving forward I suppose yeah do you find yeah. it and it's do you find, do you, when you're reflecting, because you do a lot of reflecting, because you talk about it a lot, the, the, the way you reflect on things, is that something that you do when you're feeling bad about something or is it something you do as a routine? Not, not a, like a, it's five o'clock, I must reflect, but like a, a regular kind of, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you missed um, the reflection time, it's already past five o'clock. <laughs> um, yeah, look, no, I think it's in my nature. You know, right. like if I have a if, if I have an experience and it and um, I walk away and I I always whether it's a phone call or a conversation or a, whatever it is I, I reflect on or well, how could I have done better or what you know wow mm. that was wonderful or you know well mm. I loved how that was or I loved that about this and and you know but, but then often I'll be quite hard on myself and I'll think oh you know I wish I had have not talked so much or. You know, yeah. I'll get off of I'll get off of here and I'll go. Oh God, I didn't shut up. You know, but um, you know, because we were here for a chat, so I'm glad you didn't shut up. <laughs> yeah, so I suppose it makes sense that I'm talking. But you know, Good. I do reflect on you know how I could have done something better or how I could have um, or you know what I learnt or uh, you know even a, some experience that I had recently at one of the events where I, it was a bit of a negative um, energy that I was feeling, um, mm. I'll go into too many of the details, but I realized that it was an experience that I needed to have. And I was grateful for um, the learning that I got from it and, mm. and grateful, you know, I find that even with any sort of um, negative experiences or people um, that come it's often when I'm feeling quite my self-esteem's low or I'm feeling I'm doubting yeah. myself. Mm. So I'm my, I'm my vibration's not quite as high. And mm. um, so I'm, I'm, I'm often now saying, well, I'm really, uh, at the time I'm like, what's going on? But, but then afterwards I can reflect and I'll go, well, I can be grateful for being shown what that feels like, mm. the contrast, you know. Mm. Okay, so yeah. So, normally feel like this but when I do that then that happens and I don't feel so yeah. good and so yeah okay thanks for that lesson I'll you know work on okay um I'm gonna you're gonna have days where you, I, I believe that everyone's a mirror and we learn from everyone around us so if you're seeing grumpy people around you sort of then you go well where is that in me what am I being yeah. grumpy about or who Yep. Am I being grumpy to myself, you know, um, if, there, if there's unloving people around, um, yep. you know, sort of not, not, not grateful or whatever, then well, am I being grateful for myself or am I being grateful? Because it's what I talk to clients about, it's not always about how you're treating other people. It's actually can often be how you're treating yourself. And that's and what's then being those reflected people out. Are what me ah, okay. So you're drawing, not drawing, but you're being... So your interactions with other people are can reflect how you're actually interacting with yourself. 
or treating yourself. That's how I believe. That's what. That's just my beliefs, mm-hmm. and that's some things that I learned and was introduced to the concepts of when I did this transpersonal counselling. Um, yeah. And uh, I, I believe that, um, and I've seen it, and I, I'm, and it's been my experience that uh, often, if um, like for example today. I was grumpy mm-hmm. with others for certain things. And when I realised, I said to my husband, I'm, I'm so sorry, you, I'm just frustrated with myself. Mm. And so what I was frustrated with them about, it's, I was actually frustrated with myself about. Yeah. And yeah. I was projecting onto them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sometimes it is other people's stuff that you're feeling, but often you've got, I, I believe often there's a lot of lessons and learning that can be done around other people that, that are in your that you're interacting i believe you set we choose our experiences and right. um and you know so that's why i'm sort of grateful if i don't have such a great experience i'm like oh thank you for to that person for um being part of my journey to show me this and to help me to learn that you know yeah um, yeah you know uh, look i'm not always that kind of um I can't aware. say that I'm always like that, but yeah. often that's been my experience. I'm, I'm, I'm finding that's more often my experience now. Um, yeah. Patience is something I'm working with too. Um, <laughs> I'm, the, it's, I just, I've never really loved that word very much. Do you? Are you no. patient? You still- no. <laughs> okay, let's say I'm working with that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found the other day, I said to my husband, um, I said, you'll be so proud of me, honey. I was behind this car and I was on my way home from Port Perry and I just wanted to get home, you know. Oh, no. And this car, I was at the, I was at the Kingston Bridge, which is like, you know, 15 minutes from home. Yep. And there was, this, uh, there was a road work, so we all had to stop. And there was this mm. car doing... 60 kilometres in a 110 kilometre zone. That's All outrageous. the way through to Barmara. Now, the, the, the speed limit changed to 80. And all yeah. the way, first off, I wanted to kill him. First off, I just yeah. wanted to get him and strangle him. And I wanted to yeah. beat my horn. And there was all these things I wanted to do to him, right? And then yeah. I was like, okay, so what lesson can I learn here? <laughs> and it was like, patience, right? Mm. Okay. So what would patience look like in this moment, you know? Mm, and mm. so I just went, you know, okay, so just breathe. I'm going to get there. You know, um, often I kind of, there's been times where I've been slowed down by, it's weird, often they're white cars as well. Oh, and white there might be like white cars and, and there's like, there might be an accident or, Something yeah. that's down, you know, and often yep. that happens. And so I say to myself, okay, there's a reason for this. So I'm just got to just breathe. Yeah. I know yeah. I'd like to get home, but it'll only be five minutes later than I said, or, you know, that I wanted to be home or whatever. And yeah. um, I just said, please, please, can I, I'd really like to get home. I'm tired. Um, be great if, you know, if, if, if this guy wasn't going so slow, but, you know, I just, you know, help me to find some patience. So I don't have guides that I talk to. I talk to yeah. my living light family or the universe, God, whatever it is for everyone else. But for me, those are the words. Yeah. Um, and often I have, um, Arch- well, I have like um, Archangel Michael. Um, it's like his wings are around me often, especially when I'm traveling. He sits no. in the car. Yeah. And, um, so it, that's kind of, you know, so I was sort of chatting to him and saying, you know, can you just make this, can't you see, can, can we just get this show rolling, you know? And <laughs> no, I had, to, I had to sit there and be patient, you know. And so I actually <laughs> had no choice and I had to just accept it, you know. And as soon as I accepted it and just forgot about it and just was listening to the music, they turned off. Yeah, you that's know? it. And not the same turn off as you. <laughs> No, I was going straight. They turned off like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yes, oh, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, but, but honestly, though, by then I'd let go of that feeling. By yeah, then I'd let right. go of that feeling and I'd forgotten about it. Like I got yeah. involved in the music that I was listening to and, and was yeah. enjoying 
something, you know. So my vibration changed again, you know, because I was like, oh, I love this song. And then so, yeah. you know, I, I was sidetracked, you know. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, yeah. And so then, then obviously I um, found something to be grateful about or to enjoy and then the frustration was gone and then the person yeah. was gone. The lesson yeah. was gone. Gone. You know? That's right. And, and you were home. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And, and I was um, literally around the corner and, and, and I was home. Yeah. And the dishes were done and you didn't have to do them. That's that's no. the reality. <laughs> yep. Uh, tea was so organised. <laughs> yeah, if you'd been home five minutes earlier, you were doing the tea. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, so, <laughs> exactly. And so, you know, I'm learning a lot of stuff. I'm just let's let's say I've never stopped learning and and I believe you know when I'm working with someone too often when I'm talking to them it's I say to them this is not just for you this is for me as well it's a reminder you know yeah. so that they don't feel they don't feel like oh, I've got it all together yeah. and they no it's it's sort of like we're both learning we're all learning yeah. I think you know yeah yeah yep. yeah yeah <laughs> good <laughs> I've been caught you know too actually there was one a few weeks ago I was um usually I get into um the car after I've been at work for for the day and I just do a quick check of my you know emails and Facebook and all that sort of stuff and just kind of defrag a bit actually and then get yep. in the car and drive <laughs> off um and I feel quite spacey when I'm driving after working at this place because it's pretty um it's pretty intense place to work so I kind of, it takes me a, a little while and then I get to where there's a big roundabout and there's like four, four roads that join at this roundabout. Um, and the other, the other day when I was coming home, uh, heaps before the roundabout, the traffic stopped and then we just like moved one car at a time. I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be a long night. You know, it's, a, it's already a 30 minute drive home which is not big, yeah. that's not big, but it was big enough. And, and then you're thinking, oh, God. And there's, like, once you get past the roundabout, there is no turn off for about 10 Ks. So if, if, you, if there's something on that road, there's nothing happening. <laughs> it's not going yeah. anywhere. It's just slowly crawling forward. Just going, oh, okay. So, you know, driving along and realised that there was, oh, I thought there must have been road work. Anyway, there was some issue just a little bit further along. And then yeah. out, of all, out of nowhere we just start speeding up to the proper speed. And it's like, well, what was all that about? <laughs> don't know. Just don't know. <laughs> yeah. Don't know. Truly. It's just well, that weird. was lucky then? Yeah. yeah. Well, it was lucky, but it was, I was thinking, oh God, I'm going to have to text Rick and say, I'm going to be home late. And not that he worries because I get home at various different times. So he, I don't think he knows what time I'm going to be home anyway. <laughs> but, <laughs> My husband. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Get sidetracked and sort of take a wrong turn or something. But um, yeah, that whole traffic thing. But uh, another day that that happened, it was interesting because then I you know, turned off to one of the other kind of um, long stretches home and there had been an accident there and it was so fresh that the paramedics were only just arriving. And oh, I thought, wow. oh, that's, um, that's very fresh and that like that they were there, but there was no one directing traffic yet. They hadn't closed it off or directing around. So everyone's just slowing down as they're going through the scene or around it a little yep. bit, but um, there was nothing official happening there until later when I sort of looked on Facebook and l local notifications coming up saying, Oh, there's been a big accident on blah, blah road. And, and you think, Oh, well, it was pretty fresh when I got there. Imagine if I'd gotten through straight away, you know, and I've, I've had one of those accidents before and I'm pretty keen not to have another one. So I'm always grateful when I go past one that's, that's, you know, I've missed and, you yeah. know, sent my prayers over there and my thank yous up there, you know? Um, so yeah, learning that patience is, there's always a bigger picture though, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Always absolutely. a bigger picture. Mm. Yeah, I think so. And, um, and we can, I suppose what I'm still learning is that, um, we can choose our reality, you know, we can choose to be grumpy or we can choose to just enjoy the music or we can choose where we, you know, where we put our focus and, um, and that's what our, you know, what our reality is going to be. Well, that's what I'm finding anyway, you know? Yeah. And, um, yeah. 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 Choose hmm. your own adventure, Suzanne. Yeah, absolutely. So today wasn't so good. 
<laughs> but you know, you can't. It can't be good all. I don't believe it can also be good all the time. You know, like if it you can't be light if you all pretend, the time, can it? Yeah. Mm. If you, I mean, you, sometimes you have to kind of fake it till you make it kind of thing. But sometimes yep. you have to just feel the feeling. I think and be real and just go. You know what? I'm I'm feeling shit today, and and this this is not working, and and I'm just feeling like it's the end of the world and all those things. But Mm. to kind of uh, sometimes I ask myself okay what's going on here or is it just the energy that I'm feeling because sometimes it's a collective energy that I can feel yeah that's um, right do you find that too do you kind of pick up on that um probably not as much no I'm not that sensitive there yeah I usually yeah. keep it just to my inner circle <laughs> yeah <laughs> well I mean I don't always know that that's what it is but sometimes I'll get yeah. sort of I'll people will start to talk about something or I'll see some things online and then I'll go, oh, yeah, I, I could feel that as well. That's what that was, mm. you know. Yeah. I might yeah. get intel later, but sometimes yeah. I'll know, I'll kind of go, no, this is, no, I was actually, no, this is not mine or whatever and I'll know. Yeah. But, yeah, sometimes I'm just wake up and, you know, I'm just not feeling it and that's okay as well, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm not sort of, um I haven't got it all together all the time. I don't think anybody has. And, mm. you know, um, I had some friends the other day, um, I think not yesterday, the day before, might have been mm -hmm. that they were saying that they felt, um, you know, really sad and, and um, really down. And, and I was going for a walk and I noticed that too. I'm like, oh, you know, feeling really down. Why, have I, why am I down? Yeah. And, but then a few other people had said that they were feeling that too afterwards. And then I'm like, okay, so I was picking on that up on that. But um, I think we're going through different stages of growth, you know, and um, sometimes you are transforming and releasing a part of yourself that is no longer, you know, needs to be part of your life. And, yeah. and there can be some grief, there can be some grief around that. And I think, um, I'm getting a sense that that's happening a lot at the moment. There's this grief that people yeah. are feeling that they don't even understand yeah. because, you know, like we're, we're changing our way of life. We're changing some people changing how they're eating or how they're exercising or how they're interacting or where they're living, yep. where they're working. Yep. And that always comes yep. with a little bit of grief of, of letting go of the old, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, I think that for me, for me, when I'm transforming something of myself, that's changing there's a form of grief in that process because I'm letting go of that and not always knowing what even I'm stepping into. I just know that I'm changing and something's coming and, you know, mm, and so mm. then there's that void. You know, have you found that void that you come to where you kind of, you, you left that, but you're not there yet and you're kind of in yep. between? That void or that, that you've just stepped <sighs> off the cliff and you're waiting to find your, you've got rings yes. or, wings or not. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. It's interesting. Oh, actually, there they are. Oh. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness for that. Um, <laughs> um, that was the polite version of what I was thinking. <laughs> um, I was thinking earlier. You know, you were saying about um, with with the 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 mm, the artwork and the activations, and people are working through their soul or their heart and their throat. Um, I did a card, yeah. like a crystal card. Um, you know, choose your card energy for the yes. day um, thing yesterday, and um, eighty percent of the choosings were solar plexus, heart, and throat mm -hmm. um, cards. Mainly solar plexus and heart cards, and then addition yep. of solar plexus and throat cards, and a few third eyes in there as well. Um, it, you know, it's just the six that I shuffled and pulled out to choose from, but yep. most of them themselves even were solar plexus and heart cards as well, which is just interesting yeah, as well. Fascinating, isn't it? Mm. Well, I just think we're all as a collective. And I mean, I say, well, you say that and you go, well, how do you know what everyone's doing? But, you know, you mm. know what you're seeing in your realm, right? So, yep. Um, yep. and what people are talking about. And so I'm listening to people on, and sometimes on Soulogy that I spoke about earlier, and they're talking about their client base and what they're, to, they're feeling and their client base and what they're feeling. So it sort of seems it's bigger than what I'm experiencing myself. Yeah. Yep. Um, but, um, you know, we're all learning to, speak our truth and often when I do a reading for someone it's it comes up if the the, the color turquoise mm. that's really big for people now that's been big for me for probably the last 12 years 
um, and magenta. And those two colours are, for me, um, turquoise in my language when I talk to people about um, that colour is creative communication from the heart. Yep. Um, and interestingly, the last reading especially, I used to say that was when you're talking to someone or when you've got something you need to say, um, when you when we open up your heart, so we do the, the voice work and the reson resonation and activation opens up their heart chakra more. And mm -hmm. so they connect to their heart more. And when they speak from their heart, you know, if they've got something that's the, the, the truth that they need to speak, if they speak it from their heart, it's, it's much easier for the other person to hear because yep. there's love behind it, you know. Yeah. Um, yep. But what I was speaking to more about in this last lot of readings was um, that needs to actually be the creative communication from the heart. It need, it's about how you're speaking to yourself. You know, mm -hmm. how are you speaking to yourself? And I would say, I'd say, said this to most of the people, and I said, so how how's your your internal dialogue going? You know, and they said, oh, actually, you know, I could be better on that. I said, look, I could too. Sometimes I pick myself up, and sometimes I'm my friend, and my and sometimes I'm my enemy. You know, because mm -hmm. of the words mm -hmm. I'm using. Uh, yeah. But I'm noticing more, and I'm conscious around that more. So I try really hard to kind of use better language and be more loving to myself, but I don't yep. get that right all the time. But, you know, so, but that was coming up a lot for people um, in my readings anyway, was a lot about self-love and not just the notion of self-love, but self-love as an actual physical reality, you know, loving ourselves no matter where we are, you know, no matter if we've got a bit of extra weight on at the moment or if we're, uh, if we've done or said something terrible, but so yeah. trying to find some compassion for ourselves in that yeah. um, because, you know, it's only once we can really love ourselves and really have honour ourselves and have some compassion for ourselves that then we are able to do that for others more, you know. Um, that's how I look at it, you know. I believe mm. that if we mm. can treat ourselves like our own, well, we can, if we can nurture ourselves and love ourselves and, uh then we the, then we've got more uh well we've, we're, we're speaking to people and 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 interacting with people from a full cup you know we've you've heard that saying haven't you Give yeah from a, true a full, a full cup. true but yep. um, but it's kind of like a notion it, i remember oh, a few years ago i used to say that you know they're words to say aren't they I'll give from yep. a full cup, you know, um, love yourself first, all those things. But it's not until your body doesn't want to get out of bed yep. and, you know, you, you you just you can't do the things you want to do that you actually start to go, you know what, this is, oh, I actually need to love myself now. Because if you can't accept where you are and you mm. want to be somewhere else, mm. you're not accepting yourself, are you? You know, And that's what I learned. Mm. That was a big lesson for me. It was It was not just the words, but it was actually wherever you are, no matter what that looks like, mm. you know? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And, I mean, the, the concept of unconditional love, I never even understood it until it was really my husband that introduced me to that mm. um, and 17 years ago because I never really I had never had that concept. I never had unconditional love for myself. And, um, you know, I, I, it was hard to have that for others. You know, there was judgment. There was judgment of myself all the time, you know. Mm. But he, he's been fabulous in helping me to really look at myself and laugh at myself, you know, because he laughs at me all the time, he thinks. You know. <laughs> so, I'm, so, you know, I laugh at myself now and I'm easier on myself, you know. And, yep. um, yeah, and it feels better. Life feels better and if you're because easy, I feel... If you're easier on yourself, then you're going to be easier on the others as well, yeah? Exactly, exactly right, you know, and that's what it is. It's when we, let, when we drop the judgment and drop the, you know, judging ourselves, oh, we didn't do that right, we didn't say that right, oh, we haven't done that, didn't do the dishes tonight, you know, yeah. or whatever yeah. it is. Um, yeah, or I took up that person's that time and, and I shouldn't have interrupted them because my issue wasn't that important after all. Mm. Yeah, yeah, mm. and we don't know that really what we're doing isn't perfect. I believe, mm. you know, the beautiful thing about getting older is I've realised that 
when we look back, when I look back, everything actually happened perfectly. But mm. I was so anxious around everything and, and, and so judgmental around everything and worried about everything until I look back and go, wow, you know, or even the bad stuff was all perfect because that's how I got here and that's how, you know, I've got this wonderful yeah. husband and family and friends, you know. I wouldn't yeah. have got here without all of those experiences. Yeah. So I think even the stuff that's not so great is – I believe it's um, part of our growth, you know, like yeah. I sound very, I don't mean to sound really like um, Mother Teresa or something, but I just, you know, <laughs> I, um, <laughs> but you Mother know, Mary. I'm just sort of uh, Mother Mary, but I, I'm, I'm actually, f <laughs> I'm finding that I am reflecting more on all the good stuff, you know, like I'm, yeah. I'm finding I'm, great, I'm sort of sitting more in a place of gratitude um, like nowadays, most of the time, you know, um, mm. yeah. And because mm. my life is so much different than it used to be, it's like I've, like I'm living a whole different life now, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. Cool. There you go. Cool. <laughs> I think I've taken. I've, 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 yeah, I think we've. Uh, it feels like I've been talking forever. <laughs> Well, don't have any judgment around that. That's what we're here for. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. That's I'll probably right. go off and go, oh, God, I was talking for but no. <laughs> no, no, not at all. You're the boss not of this. You can tell me you can tell me it at any time. It. <laughs> That's it. God, I can't get a word in, Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Only joking. It's all good. <laughs> Oh gosh. Wow. Thank you for sharing all of that with me and um with our friends who who've been who've been who've come along for the ride really. Um we've had lots of you know a few friends have sort of stayed and and watched all the way through and dipped in and out and you know that's great and I hope too that um that um when we put it up on the Facebook page and then those who've missed it can come back and dip in and out and and have a listen and and a bit of a laugh as well. Um, I hope they really enjoy the the soul language that you shared with us as well. Shared with me. Yeah, elves. Wow. <laughs> well, I just, I, to be honest, I had moments where I forgot that I was even, you know, we're on the video because you just make it so easy. Good. You make it Good. such an easy, warm place to be, you know, like, so Good. thank you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Well, I'm going to release you now. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> no, I'm, thank you very much. I'm glad you suggested this as a great idea and um, we could do it again. We'll do it again in a while, but um, I'm going to, um, I've got a few other friends lined up. So next week, Charlene is coming on and Charlene, I actually haven't yep. physically met. Um, and I think mm -hmm. you're still here. Yeah. I can see you here. So um, Charlene's in Queensland and I'll get to meet her for the first time, but we've been chatting on Facebook for a few months now. And, um, yep. and then the following week, um, Kathy's going to come on and Kathy's from Western Sydney and I've known Kathy for ages, but we don't see each other very often because we're, you know, hundred kilometers apart. <laughs> I mean, I'll drive a thousand yep. kilometers to see other people, but <laughs> I won't go to Sydney. <laughs> That isn't. That doesn't sound bad as it sounds. It doesn't sound. Well, it's not intended to sound like that. <laughs> I think I know what you're saying. Yeah, 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 I know what I'm saying. It's like oh, oh, oh good. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, I'm hoping that we'll have some more friends who um, are keen to come on board. Um, so thank you for being my guinea pig. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I just think you're doing such a fantastic job, and I love that you're so real when you when you when it's not working. Because that's one of my fears is like, oh my god, you know, work. I'd be like, what the hell am I doing? Or it's not working. Which button do I press? You know, oh, you know. So I'm, I don't Why love can't technology. I find her? <laughs> that's it. Oh, that'd be because we're not on the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God. Anyway, time. What's well, we, time anyway. Oh no, what's time? Like it's just a social <laughs> construct anyway. Like, 
I'm so glad yeah. you were half an hour ready, uh, half an hour early ready. Like I wasn't. I'm sort of like ten past four here and thinking, crap, I need to go inside and, and put jewellery on and <laughs> do something with the hair, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just shoved out. a scarf on him like, oh, I can't yeah. be bothered. I'll just, yeah, you know, I'll just it. do that. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That take us as we are or not at all. All right. <laughs> all righty. Well, I'm going to, um, I'm going to finish up now. And um, thanks again, um, Suzanne. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> we'll Thank catch you so in much private for later on. Me. You're very welcome. <laughs> Enjoy your other interviews. I will. I will. You too. Keep all the right work, honey. Thank you. Much love. See you again soon. Love to you too. Yeah. Bye. See you, everyone. <laughs> Bye.